Former Minister of Information, Professor Jerry Ghana, has promised to restructure and reconcile Nigeria in order to ensure that the country reflects the very characteristics of a well-organized federation if elected president come 2019. Professor Ghana stated these while retaining his nomination form at the headquarters of the Social Democratic Party, SDP, in Abuja. I present this to you, knowing that you will indeed process in such a way that by the grace of God and the will of the delegates, I will become the candidate of the Social Democratic Party and then go forward to win the elections in 2019. He explained that restructuring, which will give more powers to the federation units, which are closer to the people, will enable them to function effectively and bring democratic dividends to the people. The Republic of Nigeria must be restructured to reflect the very characteristics of a well-organized federation, a federation that has devolved functions to the federating units. I believe that we will be able to really bring Nigeria out of the woods and move forward to development, to progress, for transformation of the conditions of the people. The former minister noted that the present day Nigeria has too much powers at the center. A situation, he said, has robbed the state of progress because their powers are too limited. Jerry Gana said after restructuring the country along any dividing line, he will then reconcile the people to ensure that they live in peace and unity to engender development at all levels. The former minister said, having served in various capacities at different times, he understands the dynamics of uniting the nation and growing the economy from all sectors to ensure that Nigeria reaches her full potentials. The agricultural sector, which produces the food and raw materials, is really restructured and transformed so that it can be productive and our people can therefore enjoy the, their lives because there is sufficient food and raw materials in the land. He also promised to tackle infrastructure deficit by building what he called 21st century infrastructure that will grow the economy of the nation and generate employment and called on Nigerians to see the Social Democratic Party, the SDP, as the alternative to Nigeria's development come 2019. The issue of infrastructure is uh, a priority. Any nation that must develop must have excellent infrastructure of roads, railways, waterways, airways, so that goods and services can move in the economy. Every economy that is vibrant in the whole world depends on excellent infrastructure. Nigeria, we have mediocre infrastructure. We must therefore give Nigeria 21st century infrastructure so that our economy will be on a solid base.